NVRM to BMX. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Since VRate Studio was updated and a lot of people had several questions, I decided to make a new video covering all the updates, errors and questions that I have gotten since then. This method works with pretty much any VRM model, including VRate models, Blender models that were later ported to VRM, and even VRChat models that have the VRM setup. I'm Denoma Res, let's begin. First of all, this is what you need. Unity, BMX Editor, and the zip package I added to the description. This file has all the Unity packages and plugins for BMX Editor. And of course, I added a list of expressions and a readme so you can see the source of the materials. When installing Unity, remember to also install Microsoft Visual Studio. Without it, none of this will work. The Unity method is pretty much the same as before. Create a Unity project in 3D, import UniVRM, then the exporter, and then create a new folder for your model. Drag and drop it in the folder, then drag it to the hierarchy, select it in the hierarchy, and scroll down to the end. Then click here and search BMX Exporter. Remember to select this option. And if you want to create this kind of texture, select this option. But this is completely unnecessary, so it's better without it. And then right click here and choose Export BMX. Also, create a new folder for this model since you are going to have the textures folder and the model itself. If you keep those things separated, the model will look completely white. If everything went alright, you will see this notification. You can use one Unity project to convert multiple models. So now I am going to import a model that was made in Blender and then port it to VRM. The same process applies to non vroid models. But you may get this error at first. To solve it, just close Unity and open it again. That is because some models may decompile some of the packages. Now you can export the model without problem. But it is recommended to delete all previous data from the folder you are exporting it. In case you are unable to install Unity, you can use this converter. The link will be in the description. The thing about the converter is that it's mostly optimized for Vroid models. So non Vroid models may come out a little bit weird. And I am not talking about the color. This is normal. I am talking about the bone structure that it is completely messed in this case. Or in this other case, that it generated additional textures. Also it's more likely that your model will break. And if you're unable to convert your model with either Unity or the converter, it's most likely that your model is corrupted. Just to have in mind, this thing does the total opposite that it says. Which means, if it is selected, it will generate this texture. If it's not selected, the textures will be normal. Also, if you generate the special texture, you will have an additional file that is the effects to apply the texture. You must keep it together with the model and the folder with textures. First step complete, now let's go to BMX Editor. Before launching the editor, let's install the plugins included in the file. Open the plugins folder in BMX Editor and then go to User. Then copy and paste these files from the semi-standard Bones plugin and this one from the name translator. With that, the plugins are installed, and now you can open BMX Editor. In this step, I will be showing several models to show each different case scenario. Open BMX Editor and drag and drop your model to the window. Click the letter B so you are able to select the bones and move this bone down. This one controls both eyes. Now let's fix this area, that is one of the most important ones. This model was modified to have a tail, so it has a lot of hairs bones. If you combine all your hair pieces into one while exporting in Vroid, your model will only have one or two of these bones. But the cleanup is the same. You delete all the hair's bones and the secondary bone. Now rename the root bone to center. Set 
set the move tab and change the position so it is around here. You can change how long is it here. Now rename the center bone to groove and make sure to type it in the right language tab. In the package I mentioned, you will have this list of bones and expressions for MMD. Here are the Japanese names and the translation to English and Spanish. Copy the Japanese name and set it in the Japanese tab. This is optional and you can change how long is it. Now let's clean up the morph names. The PMX exported in Unity will translate the Japanese names, but it will not clean up the English names. So you have to delete everything at the beginning and just leave the last two words, which are the face part and the emotion, since MMD uses Japanese names. The most important ones are the Japanese ones. Since the exporter hasn't been updated in a while, it will not translate all of the expressions. So I included the additional names in the list. Always remember to type the name in the right language tab. For Vroid models that were converted using the converter, none of the expressions will be translated. This is when the first plugin comes in. This plugin will translate and set the Japanese names. Once again, it will not be all of them because this one hasn't been updated. Also have in mind that it will delete the first 5 expressions of the model. If you want to keep them, just rename them to something else that doesn't contain this symbol. Now go to Edit, Plugin, User, and select the one that says VRM to PMX. Wait a little bit, and the names will be translated, but you still have to clean up the English part. With the list, you can rename the first 5 expressions and set the Japanese names to the ones that were not translated. And you can also delete these expressions that it generates, they only change the hair color. And that would be it for the expressions. Now, a lot of people mentioned to me that they had a lot of problems with the physics of their models. In this model's case, the ears fall off and the tail doesn't remain in the same place that it should. So let me explain a little bit of the physics in MMD. The physics in MMD are composed of two things, rigid bodies and joints. The rigid bodies are the color shapes that appear in the model, and the joints are these yellow cubes. Rigid bodies are the colliders in VRM. They contain the collision area of the bone, plus some movement adjustments, and the weight of the object. Joints give a better control over the physics, they prevent them from falling and keep them together. They also control the smoothness of the movement and the limits of the movements. MMD can be a little weird at times, so in some cases if there are any missing rigid bodies or joints, the model will not work. So before deleting anything or modifying this, save the model just in case. So the first step to clean up the physics is by deleting the last rigid body and the last joint of each bone chain. As I mentioned before, this step can mess up some models. If your model was created with an older version of Vroid, it's very likely this will happen. So it is recommended to make a small test to make sure everything will be ok before continuing. Or just skip this step completely. If the hair physics don't look good, select all the rigid bodies in the hair bones and make them bigger from the rigid body tab. That problem is not visible here, but if the model has longer hair or too much hair bones, it will look somehow like this. And if you turn on the rigid bodies and joints, you will see everything is falling apart. The solution is the same. Making the rigid bodies bigger. You can adjust this as much as you need. For the ears to prevent them from falling, I will make the last rigid body bigger so it can collide with the rigid body of the head. Just in case, I will also make the rigid bodies in the tail bigger. And since I want the tail to remain in this form, 
I will go to the joint tab, select all the joints in the tail, and remove all kinds of movements in the Y axis. Now the tail doesn't fall. And the same can be applied to the dress. But in the dress case is to give it more movement. Now let's talk about non-B-Roid models. Non-B-Roid models may come up with a very different bone structure, so the bones may look very different. The important thing is to keep up the center bone and the root bone, since those two are connected to have the center and groove bone. The other bones are most likely to be a component or pivot that was translated as a bone from the 3D software this model was made. Also, most of the expressions will not be translated. So you can compare the list to rename the Japanese names. In this case this model already has Japanese names, so I just need to set them correctly. Some other non b models may look good in the editor, but when clicking the test window, they will have this fit problem. The easiest way to solve it is by taking literally any other b model that has already the fixed bones and place it in the same folder as this model. Then open the B-Roid model and it will look like this, but it is not a problem. Then go to the Materials tab, select everything and delete it. Then click the letter B and select the upper torso bones. Then delete them. Leave only the legs. It doesn't matter if the bones look disconnected, but if you want to connect them, just select the bone and set the ID of the next bone here. You can save this just in case. Now drag and drop the model over this and check adding. Now just move the bones to match the position of the model and the problem will be solved. You can fill up the information of the model later. Now let's go to the bone setup that will make your model work with any motion. So when you try to use Project Diva motions or Persona motions, this will happen. The feet will become longer and the model will not move correctly. To set these bones, go to Edit, Plugins, User, and select this plugin we installed, the one that says only PMX. Click it and check all of the boxes. Then click here. Wait a little bit. And now your model will have the bones that it needs. But if you load it again to MMD and set a Project Diva motion, the problem will still be there. So we need to mess up a little bit the model. First of all, save this model as it is. You can name it Base, Number 1, Template or whatever. I will name it Base. Step 2, select the P and J letters in PMX Editor so you can only select the physics and joints. Select all of them and delete them. Now select this bone and copy its name, then go to the bone down and paste the name there. Then go to edit, bone and choose merge same name bone. Now zoom in the feet with the mouse wheel. Each foot will have a new bone in the middle that will have at the ending the letters EX. Select that bone from one foot and copy its name. Then select the tip of the foot, scroll up and paste the name in the first bone that is selected. Do the same with the other foot. Select the bone which name ends in X, copy its name, select the tip of the foot and paste the name in the first bone that is selected. Then go to edit again and choose bone merge same name bone. Now save the model with another name, and I will call this one MEST, because trust me, this model will not work on anything. Now open the first base model you saved, go to material and delete everything. Then import the MEST model. Save this model as final, 
and when you use any projective motion or persona motion, the model will work perfectly. Now let's cover up some frequent questions. There is a white outline in my model's eyebrows. This is pretty simple to fix. Search for the eyebrow material in the materials list. Once you found it, select it and then click here. Now it's fixed. My model is too big. Drag and drop it to PMX editor and change this value to something smaller. The best values are 0 0.9, 0 0.85 or 0 0.8. Set something smaller and your model will have the opposite problem now. I did the whole tutorial but my model still doesn't work. This is a very unusual situation, but sometimes PMX editor may not recognize the names you added. To solve it, just retype the names, even though they look exactly the same. From here you can customize the model as much as you want. And this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know some more about conversions and BRM and PMX models, make sure to subscribe and follow me on social media. See you next time.